Hey, this is Tony at Cube. We're going to be doing a semantic layer sync demo with Metabase right now. Um, we'll take a look at first at our Metabase admin page under databases. We have a number of different database connections here. Um, we're going to add a new one here with this semantic layer sync. Um, we'll see that in a minute. And uh, the goal will be to be able to query um, without having to add uh, databases or data sets manually in Metabase. So we'll go over to Cube Cloud first just to take a quick look at our data model. Um, you'll notice public false on all these cubes. We're not going to bring in any of the cubes to Metabase. We're actually just going to bring in a couple views. So you can see we have a public true here for sales and employees. So we're going to go ahead and go to BI Integrations and create a sync to Metabase. And then our uh, Metabase sync, that's what it's called here in uh, the cube config. And then the database name is what uh, we're actually going to name this what we're going to see in the Metabase tool, um, in the Metabase list. So let's go ahead and just number this with the the date today, 117, just to prove there's nothing up my sleeve. Uh, and then we'll put in the username, my name, the password, and then our URL. So uh, we can get that from the URL. And then it's generated this configuration for us and it's going to go put that in our cube.js or cube.py configuration file. And then let's go ahead and create that sync. We'll go ahead and push this to production. And then we can verify that this did in fact land in our data model under our kube.js file. Down here at the bottom, semantic layer sync. So let's go ahead and trigger this. We'll start the sync. All right, and it succeeded. Let's go take a look at our database page. We'll hit refresh. And there's our demo 117. So we went ahead and added the connection information for a cube, so we don't even have to input that. And then <clears throat> also on the, when I go to browse data, there's our 117. We should have two objects, employees and sales. And then when I open up the employees, we're seeing a direct query here to cube. And then I can use this just as I normally would a data set in Metabase.